Mr. Sedona, man. How you doing, fam? Bro, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm thankful to be here, my man. Awesome, man. That is awesome, man. I like the little studio setup, man. I, I see you busy yeah, over there, huh? Thanks, brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Keeping the vision alive, that's the main thing. Um, just keeping the dream going, man. You can't ever give up on the dream and then, or it'll stop working. It'll stop working. Yeah, I got you. I got you, man. So if anybody that don't know who you are, man, like tell the people, tell the world like who you are. Give them like a brief bio on you. Super brief. Uh, my name is Oscar Cardona. Uh, I'm a musician, uh, producer, and I also own a multimedia production company. So I do a lot of film work and stuff for people. Uh, and that's pretty much it, like in a nutshell. <laughs> Let's see, how long have you been, uh, been a musician, man? How long have you been doing music, man? Man, so I've been playing like the piano since I was like 10 or something. I had to go to like piano lessons and shit. Um, and then I didn't pick back up. Like I started trying to record probably in like 2011, like trying to rap and record myself and shit. And then I didn't start producing uh, beats and stuff until about 2015. And then that's about the time I like started the production company too. It's like 2016. So. Yeah, man, it's been a journey. It's been an ongoing uh, journey. It's been a journey, man. Awesome, man. So you say you got this production coming, man. Tell me, tell us about that. And what is it all about? So uh, Pathfinder Productions, uh, it's pretty much a multimedia production company. We do audio engineering, audio production, uh, film production. Uh, we've done anything from like TV series, YouTube series, uh, behind the scenes for movies. Uh, we did this movie with Nick Cannon called She Ball um we did uh and you know and now like i'm based in vegas so i do lately what i've been doing is a lot of the boring stuff you know like local businesses uh insurance company real estate agents uh different teams, clothing companies gotcha, uh, just gotcha. be like a consistent uh uh workflow you know so yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell we do a lot of cool film film work for people yeah, man, that's, that's awesome, man. And uh, I heard that you said you were born, you were like a Dago bound. You were a San Diego bound, man, but you kind of like left to Vegas. Man. What happened there? Tell us about that. Yeah, man. So I'm, I was born in San Diego, Chula Vista. Uh, you know, okay, I, go, I know Chula Vista. Uh, yeah, I know. Pretty often I got family and stuff out there. Um, but yeah, my parents just bounced, bro. They just wanted to come to Vegas when I was like five. And so I've been out here ever since, my man. But uh, so Vegas, I a lot of people... I, I kind of say I'm from Vegas, but I was born in San Diego just because, yeah, like, it. I learned the game and the industry and everything out here in Vegas, you know. So, um, I was just born in San Diego. But I get that a lot. People are like, oh, you got that California vibe. I'm like, I mean, shit, I guess. <laughs> hey, but, but that's the good vibe, man. You know, you you always tell somebody's from California man, once they have that nice little vibe. You know what I mean? That nice, yeah, nice yeah. line, not caring. It is what it is. Yeah, and so you know, enjoy like, life type of vibe. <laughs> exactly just go with it man it's all good. It. yeah man so tell us um, like what what are you currently doing are there any like current projects that you're doing whether in filming or whether in for your music that you're currently doing right now for this year now um for this like remaining of this quarter uh till the end of the year we're gonna push uh i'm producing this album called the man of the year um yeah i'm aiming for 18 records uh but i'm at like 13 right now and I have to get the masters done by October 16th. So that's on Wednesday. So it might not be 18, it this, might man. be like 14, 15, but hopefully, because the way it works is I have to have the masters done and then I have to pitch it to like, I have a few labels that are interested in it. Um, so I'm pitching it to them and then they go listen through it. So by the end of Friday, um, the, the record, whoever is gonna own the rights that like the masters to it, will get their dibs, which is like the best deal or the highest bidder. And then from okay. there, they start uh, putting them out to like the coutures and their own like connections and getting them ready like to launch. So as uh, that's pretty much the biggest thing that's taking up the most of my time. Uh, I have a Kickstarter. So I did, the, I had this idea called the road to the album. Okay. And basically it's to document every single day uh, on my way to produce, like producing the whole album, which has been crazy. Like I didn't think it was going to be one this hard and two, um, it's crazy because like what I'm going through in real life, like yeah. it'll show in the records and, and like seeing that and watching that myself, like, you know, watching myself, how I behave and then listening to the records that came out. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy, man. This, I've never done anything like this. Um, so yeah, we'll so. have the masters done by the end of this coming up week. 
and then I'll be focusing on shooting the music videos for the records. And then, uh, yeah, so the, basically the end goal is to, by the end of this year, have uh, some very successful records coming out. Um, I mean, my streaming numbers are pretty decent right now, but we're going to partner up with the label and really amplify that and get that uh, what type, what, type of, what type of genre of music do you do? I'd say it's like it's like a hip like a new wave hip hop like R and B kind of definitely has like hip hop roots. Um, it's like rooted in hip hop, um, and then I like kind of sing, like I don't know yeah it's kind of singing it's kind of rapping it's definitely it's I feel like it's its own genre because I I'm influenced by so many outside things like I love like Nirvana and Red Hot Chili Peppers and I also love like. Tupac and Drake and gotcha, like the gotcha. weekend, you know what I'm saying? So like I have these weird like blends of of right like I don't know I don't know how to explain it. It's like its own kind of genre, but since we're we have to categorize it for the the label, we uh artists that we choose I sound like it's like Russ. They, they compare it to Russ and to um Fora. Like if you ever heard of Fora, it's like so those are kind of two uh then I have some pop records that kind of sound like Black Bear. Um, so it's just it's just all over the place it's it's good really good music though let me ask you this man you've been making music for a long time man I mean, uh, everything is just jumping for you right now um who is like your your number one like favorite influence that you have like who's like your inspiration you know what I mean? so that, that that brings the best out of you for your music i mean a couple years ago probably like my biggest biggest influence was the weekend bro i really was really fucking with the weekend like when yeah, dude, i like out, it too man i like it too man i was like that was hard. Just everything hard. i wanted to make was just sounding like that um but then uh i kind of evolved and and made my own sound i also really like um i know it sounds cliche but i really admire drake because i've seen i saw him come up like from the very beginning you know and to like yeah where he's at now and he just has more platinum records than, than the Beatles and stuff. So like, he's a real life goat like that. Um, he has a lot of hit records. I really enjoy Michael Jackson too. Like I love Michael Jackson before the weekend. Um, I love <laughs> Michael Jackson really hard. So, I mean, any of those, I, I respect and love all musicians because I know like what it takes to like make really good records, you know? So um, I get inspired from anyone really like any, any record that's put together well i i could uh really appreciate that's awesome man that's awesome that's like the same thing for me man we can go as hard for me i was like it too man. Jake, you know like, you can't hate on things you know? yeah it is. <laughs> it is what it is. yeah man so um yeah so you're in vegas man. you're doing your thing man like what is there any like what is your goals and your vision for the remaining part of this year how does that look like for you? so the so we're already about so my album drops in november um, November 3rd so if you see this November 3rd go cop the man of the year <laughs> um, so basically right now is finishing the the album up until the 16th like next week uh, do the rest of the music production for the album and then up until November 3rd we'll shoot probably two two music videos and then um, after that like once the album is hopefully before the album drops but before uh, before the album drops, if not after, is I'm really working on uh, solidifying an investor because uh, like the records are so good and I know they're like hit records, the qual like not even the quality of the records, it's like the groove of the records are hit records. Like anyone I play the record for, they're like, it's stuck in their head, they're oh, singing, they're the like, fuck, is this, this is good. So I basically want to partner with the right investor to take these hit records and invest the, like the money into ad revenue, pl like big platforms like world star, um, genius, like all these platforms and get the records to spin so that the investor can make their money back. And in return, I'll basically get what I want. It's like touring. So setting up tours, um, yeah, is something I'm looking into and, uh, we have a couple labels, like I said, and then partnering up with an investor. So basically the rest of the year is looking like kicking this album into high gear, using these records as a foundation and base to really amplify the royalty revenue uh, that I'm already making, which will in turn, I'd have to, I, I'm going to have to sell my, my masters probably that I own um, for this album for sure. Um, but I already have like 52 registered records under my own belt. So 
but just basically amplifying it, man. I really want by by next year. I want to be touring, um, which is uh, what we're we're trying to basically accomplish. All right, so you want to be touring, man. You want to be out there. You want to be, you know, doing your music, sharing with the fans, and just, you know, living, yeah. live, living the dream, man. <laughs> living the dream yeah, for man. real. <laughs> Trying to make it happen, man. Like yeah. one hey, step, you, one challenge at a time. Hey, you got this, man. You definitely got this, man. So if anybody, if they don't know where to follow you, man, give us like your, you know, your social media shout outs. So, you know, where, where can they find you? For sure. I mean, like, if you hear my, re- dude. I was so I haven't looked at um I this Apple Music beta is new like so the Apple Music for artists is new and I yeah apparently Apple Music owns Shazam so my I've been Shazam like fucking fifty three thousand times and I was like what <laughs> people like so people hear the records and they're That's like who is this like Shazam so um so if you just hear a song and you fuck with it and it happens to be mine you could Shazam it um. You could also Google me, like Google Oscar Cardona, and uh, that shit will come up uh, one way or another. Um, if not, my Instagram is Oscar Dona, is like my first and last name, Oscar Cardona, put together. Um, and that's pretty much my my uh, my handle on everything. Twitter, Oscar Cardona. You could just Oscar Cardona. Um, I go by my government name because I couldn't think of a cool rap name. And now it's too, <laughs> too late. Like, now I have... You no, know, no, but you know, I like I, I like the Oscar de- Cardona, man. I like it. I like I like it. It just sounds it has a nice little ring to it. You know what I mean? Hey, I like it. cool. It's kind of cool, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> so yeah, man, just uh, Oscar Cardona is what I go by on on everything: YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter. So um, Shazam, you could definitely find the the records and and yeah, man, I'd love to. And for me personally, is I connect with a lot of people. So like, if you send me a DM or comment on anything, like I write back to everybody. It's like, cause I think that's what will really set you apart. Like that's what people remember. Like people want to like, uh, there's a lot of like dipshit artists out there that like don't connect with their fans and stuff. But I try to connect with as many people as possible because like it's genuine. Like at the end of the day, like with this platform and everything I'm building and reaching the heights I want to reach, I want to influence more positivity and not enough people are loved or cared about. And like, even though we're so connected with the internet and like all these, uh, you know, social medias and stuff, no one really feel. everyone feels alone. Like no one feels loved. No one feels like they're, everyone's so isolated um, and connected at the same time. So I just want to, you know push that um more more with like with the platform and power that i gain yeah man like i was telling i was telling um, my other boy i was like you know I mean, you have to be able to influence somebody you have to be able to change their life in something you know some shape form or fashion and that's what it's all about whether it's for your music whether it's for your job it doesn't matter what it is whether you're just you know walking around down the street you know and that's yeah. what it's all about man. you know what i mean influencing the life like you said, as an artist, you take the time to, to actually engage with your fans and, re- and respond to your fans. And that's freaking awesome. Man. I like that. Yeah, that, actually, man. that actually brings me to my next question. Is, you know, what do you, is there anything that you want to share to the fans or to the world? What do you want to say to them? This is your opportunity right now. Man. Yeah, man. So if I just like deliver any message to, you know, the world or any viewers or anybody that sees anything that I put out is just to remember to love yourself and that like I have love for all humankind all like life form is I have genuine love like in my soul that I project so like when people meet me they feel like comfortable like or want to be around me and I so I but when I leave like that you can still have that same love like you you could tap into love so love is a very dangerous scare not dangerous scare the word is scary. People are afraid to love or be loved or because they feel like when it's gone, they're going to be hurt. But the, the thing is, is, like you could love yourself and always feel love. Like love is always there. It's just got a bad reputation. So I don't think there's enough love in the world. And I think that we need to love each other as humans, like on another level to be able to, oh, so come, come, you know, overcome the situations we're in. Yeah, man. So love, so love, love each other on another level, man. I like that. Man. You're absolutely right, man. Cause we can all, we can all do more, even if it's just a little bit, you know, one day at a time. You know what I mean? One and day at it. a time, man. That's it, that's man. It. One situation at a time. Yeah, one situation at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. You already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You already know. 
for so sure. Officer Cardona, man, I want to thank you for coming to the show, man. I really appreciate your time, man. I want to see you at the tour, man. Matter of fact, hopefully, hey. hopefully, once you get on tour, man, we can do a live streaming event on our platform, mycelebwatch.com, man. So that's that's on. Uh, yeah, man. You know what I mean? That'll be hot. I'm gonna come out to San Diego too for a show, so don't even trip about that, bro. We'll be out there. <laughs> so Officer Cardona, man, thank you for coming out, man. We appreciate your time, man. We appreciate your music, man. And yeah, man, enjoy your day, man. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. You are an influence of the world, man. And that's all that matters. Nobody's gonna do it. You can do it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, my man. I appreciate you having me on the show, man. It was a good conversation. I I really enjoyed it, my man.